Well, good morning, y'all. We are out here doing some summer fishing, trying to beat the heat. And we're getting into some massive bluegill. Look at the size of those. That is phenomenal, guys. That is not camera editing. That is not distorted. That is a massive bluegill. <laughs> Right off the bat. Oh, that's a uh, decent sized fish. I think that might be a bass. All right, y'all, the first one's on there. The way it's running, I'm thinking that's a bass or a really big bluegill. Look at that, y'all. That is awesome. Uh, if we were keeping fish, that would have definitely be a keeper. There's another one. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a decent sized bluegill. Nice. I wonder if they've got spawning beds right over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that guys. How cool is that? Beautiful. Hey y'all, let's talk about the gear that we're using today. What we're using is these 164th ounce Rock Creek hair jigs. And we're doing that on a double rig, which is my preferred method when I'm pan fishing, especially with ponds. So we got the TNC jig on the top. We got the, I'd like to call it the carrot top one on the bottom. The actual names for those are on rockcreekbaitcompany.com. And there's a discount code linked below. And then I'm tipping those with some Berkeley Power Bait crappie nibbles. And the color I'm using today, Chroma Glow. And this one is in chartreuse. We have that on a double jig rig underneath the slip bobber. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Got him. Ooh. Okay. Guys, one of the things about bluegill fishing, unless this is a bass, but I believe it's a bluegill, is they are going to give you a fun fight. Oh, yeah. That's another beautiful fish right there. Take a look at that. That is a female. Those first two were males. You can tell by their dark colors. She's a female. You see that light color underneath her? Hair jigs are getting the job done today. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful colors. All right. We're going to let this one go so she can get bigger. There he goes. That's a smaller fish. Or maybe not. Nope, that's not a smaller fish. That is actually a decent sized bluegill that was just running sideways. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Oh, guys. Look at that. Here, there's my hand. There's the fish. Four beautiful fish so far. We're going to let that one get bigger. There we go. There it is. Ooh, that feels. That's a big old bass. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land this. I'm gonna try. Yep, guys, we got ourselves a bass here. See, this technique works just not only for bluegill, but also for bass. I'm gonna try to bring it into this opening that I have right here. Oh. Beautiful. Look at the size of this bass. All right. Check that out, y'all. This technique that you're learning today is not just going to change your summer fishing. It's going to change the way you fish for the rest of your life. All right, beautiful. Y'all, let's let that one go. Beautiful. Good, healthy-looking bass. Let's catch some more, shall we? Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful morning. I think right now, because it's summertime, and you got all these weeds, and you got all the bugs, I don't think they're out in there from what we're seeing. Guys, what we're doing is we're working this weed edge right here. In the summer, most of your fish are going to be wanting to feed off of the bugs, the worms, but this also provides some cover from bigger predators. So what you're going to want to do is be close to that weed edge so they'll come out and hit your bait, and you're just going to have a higher concentration of fish. They're going to be along these edges right here. 
Now as the day progresses and it gets warmer, if the sun's hitting that area, they may move out into the deeper water and go deeper where they got more oxygen and a cooler water. But we're mainly dealing with bluegill and bass and they are pretty resilient. They most of the time don't care what the temperature of the water is or how deep the water is. You can find them in just a couple feet of water. Another great thing about this technique is you can use it year round on any body of water because we're not using live bait and we're not using super big tackle here. Very small, lightweight jig heads. Those of you guys who are wondering what kind these are, they are in the description below. There's also a discount code there for you. You want to check that out? Yep, there it is. Oh. All right, y'all. I want to say that's a bluegill. Yep. Nice female bluegill. Look at that. Another beautiful one. Caught on that tiny hair jig. All right, very nice. Let's let that one go. There we go. Oh, y'all, I may have hooked into a bass or a really big bluegill, about a foot off the bank. Yep, it's a bass. Just pointing out how they were swimming here in the front with the activity. And sometimes that's all you got to pay attention to. Wow. And that is not a small bass at all. Oh yeah. Can't beat this type of fishing guys. It's so much fun. So simple. And yet so much fun. There we go. Right off the front. I think that's another bass. Yep. There's a nice little young bass on that one y'all doesn't even have a stripe yet and look at its tail it's kind of clipped could be from spawning or something nipped at it mm -hmm. so guys pay attention to your fish activity saw activity here on the front bank and uh two straight bass in a row they are definitely out looking for something to eat that's a nice fish right there we got another one guys all right look at that there we go. Beautiful. And one of that bottom hair jig. There's a nice fish. Ooh, what do we have? Oh, that is a massive bluegill. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That is a big bull bluegill. Wow. Okay. I got to go. I gotta get my, my tape. Oh, you, my friend, are nine and a quarter. Not as big as I thought you were. Guys, that one is not gonna be my personal best. I thought it was, but let's look how beautiful that is. Let's get that one back in the water. Let's catch some more, shall we? Oh yeah, that's a nice one. There we go. Another beautiful bluegill. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful. Let's get over in the shade. Another beautiful one. Nice. Let's let that one go. We're just gonna work this bank right here next to these cattails, guys. There's gonna be bluegill bass. They like this point here, and you also have the weeds and the vegetation. So there's gonna be plenty of food that they're looking for in this section. Plus for the bluegill, it gives them a chance to get back into the cattails and avoid the bigger predators. Oh, that's a big fish. That is a big old bluegill, y'all. There we go. That's an eater right there. All right, y'all, look at that.
All right. Beautiful. Let's get that one back in there. Beautiful. There's another one. Look at that. All right, y'all. Another beautiful bluegill. Let that one go.